Well, welcome to the Kingdom of God Elevation Ministry. With Mark Letts. Yes. I hope everyone's doing good. It's now the day after Easter. I pray that you all had a really good Easter and that you have a really good week ahead. This ministry is all about knowing God and loving God. And there's no better way than to know God by his than by reading his word. Okay. So today we're reading from Hebrews 13. This is what God wants us to read. So I'll start. God bless you all. God loves you all. I hope you enjoy this read. Keep on loving each other as brothers. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by doing some, people have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those in a prison as if it, as if you were their fellow prisoner and those who are ill-treated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage should be honoured by all and the marriage bed kept pure for God will judge the adulterer and the and all the sexual sexually immoral Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace, not by ceremonial foods, which are of no value to those who eat them. We have an altar from which those who minister at the tabernacle have no right to eat. The high priest carries the blood of the animals into the most holy place as a sin offering but the bodies are buried outside the camp and so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy through him his own blood let us then Go to him outside the camp, bearing the disgrace he bore. For here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of his the fruit of lips that confess his name and do not forget to do good and share with others for with such sacrifices god is pleased obey your leaders and submit to their authority they keep watch over you as men who must be given who must give an account Obey them so that their work will be a joy, not a burden. For that would be of no advantage to you. 
pray for us, we are sure that we have a clear conscience and desire to live honorably in every way. I particularly urge you to pray so that I may be restored to you soon. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, equipped you with everything good for doing his will and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through jesus christ to whom be the glory forever and ever amen brothers i urge you to bear with me my word of exhaustion For I have written you only a short letter. I want you to know that our brother Timothy has been released. If he arrives soon, I will come with him to see you. Greet all your leaders and all God's people. Those from Italy send you their greetings grace be with you all in the mighty name of jesus christ amen amen right. there were some powerful words i hope you enjoyed that read oh wow um stay tuned because next time i'm gonna read a totally different verse and there's gonna be so much going on in this this space right here oh it's going to be a purely, purely God-given experience. Now, I just want to say, point out a few bits here. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. That's what God said. It says... Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Stay tuned for my testimonies. Because I have some... Like, every day for me is a... Testimony. Every single day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the blood of Jesus cleanse you. And I pray that you'll... If you haven't done so already, repent. And come to the Lord because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thank you for tuning into this in this space. God bless you. Have an amazing time. Thank you.